Well, if you guys want to upgrade that oil filter housing. Flashback. Well, that's what I have right now. Ooh, this one's heavy. That's one box. And then this big box. Man, oh, those are the, oh, cool. Wonder if there's a lot of uh, popcorn in here. Yep, figures. There's gonna be a lot of popcorn in here. And then we got this piece right here, which I got the one with no cooler. This is the, one of the newest upgrades that you can get for the Neon. They sell this kit with three pieces of hardware. That thing is beautiful. You guys see this thing? It's gonna move so much more oil. I'm just looking at this and being like, wow, it's beautiful. Hi guys, in this video, uh, I did a bunch of things today. I decided to swap out my stock oil filter housing. And I already deleted the oil cooler a long time ago. I have three gaskets sandwiched together. This pancake to extend it off of the housing and run a big boy oil filter. Now you also have to buy extended bolts, I believe. But what's cool is this kit already comes with those bolts i changed over to valvoline vr1 i'm hoping this gives me a change in the puffs of smoke that i've been having it might have been the oil that i was using some other brand that i've never used before and it's called dello it's a heavy duty diesel engine oil it was my first time ever using it and huh? I, i'm not sure what i did or if it was just the oil being too heavy or having too much, I'm not sure, but think about subscribing and check out some of my other videos. Today, I also did the BNB Racing Crappy Neon Brent Sharps Lower Tubular Control Arms. I was working on two videos. I was also working on the oil cooler. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, you're gonna see it soon. So check out that video. Here's your fix. You can go ahead and modify the stock housing so it actually has a better flow or you could just upgrade to something like this to convert over they're going to be giving you bolts with washers and the cnc machined housing you're going to have to purchase one of these which is a gasket it's going to go right there and i believe that pushes it off of the back of the oil pan just enough that you can run a big boy oil filter wix xp you can get them at o'reilly's or you can go ahead and click the link in the description you can see there's a little fitting where you can actually put an oil pressure send in unit there's that piece auto meter 100 psi 1 8 to 27th nptf model number 2242 that way you can monitor your oil pressure i have one in the back of my block already and it's right there but this is the one with no cooler because i don't run an oil cooler deleted that along with my power steering my ac my big battery my fuse box everything you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and take off the old one and Slap on this new CNC one. I actually want to see the difference real quick. See if there's really a difference. Oh yeah, it really is. With the gasket, this is basically how far it extends off of the back of the oil pan. So I like that. I like how light this thing is too. Oh yeah, by the way, make sure you have no oil in the oil pan. I don't, I haven't filled it up yet. So I'm gonna loosen these three and take that off.
Now you guys can see this is one of the bolts that I had and I cut it to make it fit. Thankfully, they supplied us with some new ones. So that is my sandwich. That way I could run a big boy oil filter until the time that I could go ahead and modify one of these. So right here is the back of the oil pan where the housing sits. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. One thing I'm gonna make sure I do is put Teflon tape on the threads of that. But I really like this, you guys. Super dope. Look at the comparison. <laughs> All right, now that I'm done taking pictures, I had to make myself a thumbnail. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. <sighs> clean the back of that up like I said make sure there's no lint or anything on there I have to make sure there's no nicks and I suggest taking the new bolts and threading them in see if they go in there nice if not go ahead and tap the threads with an M M6 but I should not have any issues because when I rebuilt this myself I tapped every single hole even before I sent it to machine shop. Here's your three bolts Allen head with washers. I'm just gonna just a double check and I will be putting some blue Loctite on here just to make sure they stay snug and in place and don't back out. I do not suggest using the red at all. So these look like they will work. I put my Wix XP51515 XP big boy oil filter on there. Oh, and don't forget to go ahead and put some Teflon tape on this little bolt. Alright, we got it on there with the gasket and you can see there's still room to go ahead and put a 17 on there to loosen it and still take it out. And it's beautiful. Look at that, you guys. So nice. And that is where the oil pressure sending unit will go. Pretty much right up here, tucked away. So I'm not sure if that is enough space. My sending unit is right there on the left side of the drain tube and that drain tube has some condensation so I'm gonna go ahead and tackle that figure out why probably replace it if I have to because I have another spare right here I went ahead and bought one long I think maybe a foot or something and I cut it so I do have that if I have to I'll take care of that after this video I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like with a big boy oil filter. I just gotta go ahead and tighten those down before the Loctite dries. So there you have it, you guys. That is the CNC machined oil filter housing. No cooler. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up another video, which you guys probably have seen. If you guys have not, it's the lower tubular control arms from Brent Sharp, top right of the screen. Go check that video out. Like this video, like that video, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And until next time guys, be easy and stay tuned. Peace.